Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9. So, I've done a few bits between episodes, I must admit. Uh, first off, I've been making some singularities. This doesn't flipping work anymore. Do you remember this? Where you get a sync, get a logic cable from Integrate Dynamics. I don't know if I've done something wrong. I probably have, knowing me. Uh, but I've got the, whatever this one is over here. It just says logic cable, and that's a bit annoying. Okay, at integrated dynamics. Fluid interface on one side, and an exporter on the side you're trying to export to, right? And then I put a card in here with max int. Makes sense? Uh, but it's only going up because this side is, is being amazing, and, you know, the pipe's ultimate upgrade absolutely like wrecks your uh, your TPS but I mean in this situation it's just a one-to-one -one, so it's not that bad if it was one to like a thousand it would be kind of annoying but it's, it's doing fine and it's doing way better than the integrated dynamics one for some reason so I don't know I'm gonna turn my throttle down because that's a bit better oh that's way better sweet uh, what else did I do? Okay, so over here I set up a um, well, I set up all of these to be the extended versions of pattern providers, and right now provider. I'm trying to make myself a mega pattern, mega pattern provider. I don't know what it is. I've never used it, but I want to see how it works. I made myself a uh, processor thingy, so. Additional processors being made down here. We've got a new inscriber thingy. So uh, it does, it consumes the inscriber calculation and engineering press when you do this recipe, by the way. So just keep that in mind because mine disappeared and I got very confused. I had to go to a new meteor to find this. But you take a singularity, you take inscriber calculation, inscriber engineering, and you get the inscriber accumulation press. Uh, that would be why that's not flipping working. Okay. Uh, which one's this? Is this the pull? Alright. Pull up upgrade. Let's grab that. Or module, sorry. We do that. That. Perfect. Now this should be... Okay, that's already done. Brilliant. I need to add some uh, acceleration upgrades to this. But that's made us... And provider. Now, I have no idea how this thing works. How is that mega if it only has two slots or, or two rows of slots? When if I pick this up, eh. uh, these ones here they've got four rows. Okay, I'm glad I didn't spend too much time on that. That's fine. <laughs> We, uh, we're, we're fine. We're going to stick with these uh, extended pattern providers from Extended AE. What else does that add? At Extended. Pattern Access Terminal Upgrade. Sneak right click on the Pattern Access Terminal to, terminal to upgrade it to ME Extended Pattern Access Terminal. Okay, can we do that? That sounds like a good time. That's not the right one, that one. They're coming in now. We've got a pattern access terminal, don't we? I assume we do. I don't know what it does to it, though. That, that's that's going to be the thing that we're going to find out right now. Pattern encoding, pattern access. Oh, okay, that's pretty awesome. Right there. Highlight provider. Oh, please say I didn't just crash my world. <laughs> I did, brilliant. Okay, don't click that button, the visualize button. Oh, hello. But yeah, um, I need to go through now and... Uh, I made a bunch of the extended... Oh, what are they called? At extended. I made a bunch of these because we're going to upgrade a bunch of these. Probably not a great idea. Oh, we can get both right there. Nice. 
because that is more that they're, they're going to uh, actually do. They've got more recipes in them, but I still think it's, it's better. This actually makes me think that we should probably swap over. I think, um, so I've had a plan recently, which is, uh, I really want to convert this, this world that I'm currently in, into a server. Eventually, when this, this whole pack becomes server ready, that's when I plan on doing it. Oh my goodness, I'm almost full on my, uh, on my drives right there. Um... That's fine. Uh, I'll leave those. Yeah, I was going to try and turn these off and then have a look in what's here. Uh, okay, there's loads of dust. Tiny dust. Tiny, tiny dust. Yeah, I've been doing this periodically where you just like spam combine all of your dust together. Because it does remove a little bit. Uh, if you didn't know as well, I've, uh, I've been centrifuging an advanced centrifuge as well which is the the mv version so it's a little quicker but i've been centrifuging a bunch of stone dust and what are we up to now because i did leave this running most of the day i did cut oh we're under 10k that's pretty good um i did come back earlier um my my computer screens have been off all day because i've been at work so i basically came in this morning turned my computer on set myself up literally stood here and then I went to work, and then when I got back home, I had a look, and this game had crashed. So I'm not sure what happened, but yeah, uh, that was a bit of a, a shock. Anyway, yeah, what I've been doing is just combining all of the the tiny stuff that I've got in here, like this. And I think that's everything. We got this tiny platinum dust. Which turns into the all the ores platinum. I don't know if we need this. The, the regular platinum right here. Does this turn into like? Can we smelt it? In is there any need for platinum? That's probably a good i good idea to look at, right? Need that for anything? It looks like we can use any platinum. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it as a tiny because why not? Um, another thing that I did. I did a, a few bits between episodes, I must admit. Uh, I made a second set of laser drills. So we've got two right now. We've got... Oh, hello. Land. Thank you. So we've got this set over here, and we've got this set over here. And they have all of them got the upgrades. I think I... Did, did I set this to be smaller depth? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm going to set this to be like... Minus something. Okay, no I'm not, because that was boring. <laughs> Clicking that a load of times. You can't shift click or anything either. Uh, but anyway, I got these two, and they've been feeding me loads of ore. So I've got tons of ore, I've got tons of raw stuff as well, which is kind of cool. Look at that. Then we've got loads of bauxite now. So, and pyrite, and galena, and tetrahedrite. I had the aluminium because uh, I set my constructor and destructor to mine up all of my aluminium. I don't exactly know. What does um, tetrahedrite do? Oh, it's copper. Interesting. Galena is apparently lead. Pyrite is iron. Interesting. And this should be aluminium. Obviously, if you smelt it up, you get the bauxite dust, but I think there's a way of getting aluminium out of it. I don't know how, how to do this. Centrifuge? Electrolyzer? Electrolyzer, there you go. You get aluminium and rutile dust. Okay, anyway. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I set this bad boy up. So, when it's night time... I think it's technically night time now? I don't know why this isn't filling these up. It's a bit weird. Strange. Anyway, when it's night time or when it's daytime, I can't remember which way I've set this, like which way round I've set this. It should go to nighttime soon. And then this will go off. I've got a daylight sensor just, I think it's out this way. 
no, other way, this way. No, other way, this way. Daylight sensor is right down there on a redstone link. And that daylight sensor is powering these two routers. So this router is just pulling from over here. So it's pulling from the dimensional mine shafts, putting into the router itself, and then sending. And this took me flipping ages to set up because I didn't realize that the blood chest is sided. You have to put in via the top and you have to pull out by the bottom. So uh, the puller upgrade right now, see see now it's, uh, it's night time. It's just put all of the, uh, the, you know, master married miners back in place. Also, all of these got... Okay, that must have been a graphical glitch that we saw in here. But, yeah, this, um, this just put this in here. So whilst it's night time, I might swap that round. Because I sometimes sleep through the night. So it might be an idea to have this running through the day. So that's got to be high and that's got to be low which doesn't really make sense because I'm pulling them back out and they're going into here now but I can go sleep right there we go daytime these things are now running again so that's pretty decent we got the modular routers just pulling out during the day I know there's a way you can do this with pipes so you can have a pipe that pulls out from this um, but I kind of thought it wasn't working because of what I just said about the, uh, you know, the, the, the blood chest not being able to, I, I swear I did a puller upgrade. Puller upgrade. Okay. I need to make a new one. Apparently it's fine. We could do that. So I did a puller upgrade. Modular router. Let's grab a new one. I did this and then I did this on the front right there. If I do that and then stick my, oh yeah, he's picked it up. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so if I take that one out for now, if I stick this in like this, why is that not going up in durability? It should be going up in durability. That's a bit weird. Maybe they fixed it. So uh, silent gear stuff doesn't work in this. But as you can see, it's not being pulled out over there, which really confused me. So uh, I'm going to stick that back there and grab my, my pickaxe back. Yeah, I spent ages on that, I must admit. And then I had a brainwave, which is, oh, I wonder if it's like a furnace where you can only put in by the top and you can only pull out by the bottom. And that is the way this one here is actually pulling from the bottom of this. I went underneath. Anyway, that's enough explaining that. That is basically just getting me free resources, so are these two, but these are for power. So we are using some power to power these. It's actually not that much power. And considering we've got a bunch of power just being made right here. I don't really understand why it says EU when you hover over it. It might just be a jade thing. Because I don't think you can just put one of these down and then power all of your stuff from Greg Tech with it. But I could be wrong. Anyway. Today, I feel like we should crack on with a bit of Greg Tech. I just uh, upgraded all of these things, right? Um, so, first things first. I, As I said, I did make the basic circuit assembler. Quickly need to point out, because this caught me out a little bit. Assembler, circuit assembler. You see at the top there, it says circuit assembler. I put all of my circuit assembler recipes in the assembler, thinking that it would work, and obviously it doesn't. So, uh, <laughs> to make one of these, and you can't make the MV version without having the. So, MV assembler. So, for the circuit assembler, you need the higher tier processors, which I might be a good goal to try and get to today although it looks kind of involved these new new circuits that we've got Ugh. it kind of makes sense to make these ones though right because we've already got the good integrated ones 
I see chips. Okay, let's let's get rid of all of these, and I'll start bookmarking things. RAM chip, transistor, fine electrum wire, and annealed copper bolt. Interestingly enough, I figured out how to do this. Is it like that? I figured out how to make annealed copper a while back, and it's completely gone out of my head. So I need to have a look. Ah, balls. That was it. So, uh, copper plate, apparently. I think if you just use a copper bar. There you go. Copper, bit of oxygen. You get the annealed copper ingot. We don't actually have an arc furnace yet. I wonder if we can make the MB version. Good. Good electronic. Interesting. Okay, I think it's... Yeah, I think we can make this. That looks pretty good. Did we seriously not make an arc furnace? I feel like I made one of these graphite dusts. Arc furnace. Maybe it's in here. Oh, made a basic one already. Okay, we'll use the basic one for now. Stick that there. Uh, we could do with... Oh, that was it. I was going to make... Import bus. And I'm going to stick it there, because that's going to get us the oxygen in our fluid disc. So we got a little bit of oxygen in there. So we can actually set the recipe for this. Uh, I kind of need one of these pattern providers, though. Pattern provider. Can I just make the extended one outright? Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go set that up real quick. Okay, I'm quickly making myself a... I'm, I'm done with, like, cabling now for this. So what I'm going to do is just put down... Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I was going to put down a one of these LV energy converters. Blood! And I was just going to put it here for now. Oh, there you go. That's going to make us... Hey, hey. Oh, that's a point. I need to... This one here. Eh, done. Perfect. Does it still go? Nope, there we go. That's what I needed. So I can stick that right here. Get myself the mallet. Probably to click gates. I really never use gates. Not that gate, this gate. I really never used gates before all the mods 9. I always ended up using flux points, but I kind of converted. I don't I don't like saying this, but because I love flux networks, it was one of my favorite mods at one point. Obviously before I found modular readers, but yeah, I think the gates are ridiculously good and so easy to make. And you don't have to like automate making the uh, flux dust. So Hats off. I, I prefer using these now. Anyway, that is that is one way to get annealed copper. So let's do that. Annealed copper. Arc furnace. You can be on low voltage. Thank goodness for that. That's not the one I wanted though. I wanted the one that is a copper bar. There we go. So now we can make annealed copper. Let's make one. Just see how it goes. Whoa, look at the... That looks really cool. Anil copper. Huh. I like that. Let's make another 11. Just so we got 12 overall. And then we can watch this. Whoa, it looks beastly. So, anyway, that finished. Uh, I did want to just have a look at the Prospector. Super Prospector. What the heck is that? That is a ridiculous recipe right there. Can we make one of these? These processors? Uh, no, prospectors. Or prospector. That's HV. What's this one? LUV. Uh, fine. Let's make the one that we look. Well, it looks like we can make. 
do we have this mould? Plate mould. Ah, prospector. I want to see how this works, because I know Mr. T's been using one uh, in his playthrough. And he's been lording it, saying that it's been really good. Canna. Oh, we got some of this. Sodium, I think. Small battery. Battery alloy. Oh, this is a massive process. I don't think it'd be like this. How do I make this? Alloy smelter. Lead. Okay, how do I make that? That is... Oh, okay. We could do that. End ore. Well, we might have some of that. Raw. No, we do not. Okay. I'm sure we can find that, though. We've got a load of load of uh, different ores to look through, right? We've probably got some of that somewhere. Uh, you know what? Let's just ignore that for now. Uh, we might come back to this. I have a feeling it gives you, like, a, a little display if you're looking for, I don't know, like, Realgar or something like that. It will give you a display. Apparently, Realgar is actually proper difficult to find. At least Mr. T said it's like one of the hardest to find. So we really lucked out by getting real gar. But saying that, real gar, we don't really need it now because uh, we did the old electrolyzer setup. And we got our arsenic, arsenic that way, right? So we're, we're good. Anyway, um, what else can we use the arc furnace for? Might as well program some recipes. Steel ing oh right, yeah, you can put like everything through it again to get all of the materials back. Neutronium dust. Is this the one that's like ridiculously good? The one that you make like really good pickaxes and stuff out of? Is this the one that gives you the, the, the noob thing? No longer a noob. What's that called? Uh, Greg. I was looking at this. I kind of want to make one of these by the end. NAND. Certification of not being a noob anymore. Oh, it is that. It is the Neutronium. Okay, I want to make this. 100%. Whatever it takes, we're probably going to have to make some of this at some point. How the heck do we make that, though? Um, flipping egg. What kind of a name is that? Tritium, and then you get the Neutronium. But I'm guessing you just mix that in. Okay, so we need this somehow. Okay, Macerator doesn't really give us... Yeah, okay, that's just Macerating stuff. Tiny Piles? Is that where you go from? No, apparently not. Okay, literally 10 minutes later, and I'm still trying to figure out how to make this. Which is fine, because we will come back to it. It's not like this pack's going anywhere, right? So, uh, I think what we need to do is we definitely need to make this cutter. Although, I think I've already started on making an MV version of this. So, this. Yeah, I did. I just need to make... Okay, let's get that on the, on the go. Okay, glass tubes. I really need to automate that. What is it for glass tubes? I think it goes in the alloy smelter. Might have to make a new alloy smelter just for glass tubes. Okay, meanwhile, what we can do is make some of this Vandium steel. Now, must be a way of making this without it hurting our head too bad. Uh, let's have a look. This one? Vandium steel dust mixer. Steel dust, Vandium, and Chromium. Okie dokie. That's probably not the right amounts right there. That one's from Chemlab. Where'd you get Vandium from? Oh. Emerald ore gives you it. Emeralds give you it as well, I think. Yeah, Vandium. Okie dokie. So we could do that. Or we could just look it up. Vandium. Van? Van Adium. Okay. I, I'm i terrible at pronouncing things, so I apologise if uh, I get things wrong. But 
It's just just the way I am, so I apologise a lot. Ooh. Sapphire and Aqua Region gives you some of this slurry. And then you can get it. Oh, it's only a 2% chance though. Okay, never mind. Bandium Magnetite. Can I centrifuge that? Magnetite and Okie doke. We could get this. Because we do have Vandium Magnetite. See? Vandium Magnetite. Uh, how do we get this into dust? That's the question. Dust. Yeah. Oh, okay. We could just... Boo. Okay, we're not going to smelt the ores. We're going to smelt the roars. Because you might get more out of it if you do that. So I'm going to go and set these up. Right here. What's in this one? Diamond Deep Slate. Great. And that one's empty. Perfect. Oh, actually, whilst we're here, let's grab some of that. Smelt that up. And that'll turn it into dust. Perfect. Uh, do we? I'm, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to stop this from doing this for now. Uh, oh, by the way, I had to use cable anchor. God, oh, didn't mean to do that. Boop. I had to use cable anchors right there because that would just stop it from connecting to the cable underneath. That's what I was going to say. Boop. How do I get back up? Done. Okay. So we can take this out, take all of these out, stick in the Vandium Magnetite, and we'll get some Vandium out of it. Perfect. Uh, right. What was the other thing? Chromium. How do we get Chromium? Okay. Well, well we want Vandium Steel Dust, so that's not a good way of doing it. Stainless Steel. Sounds like we, we make the stainless steel later on for stuff. Uh, maybe it's not the dust that we need. Nichromium. Nickel. Okay. How do we get that? Oh. Okay. That's not how you do it then. Uh, I'll have a look through and try and find out how... Well, one of the good ways of getting chromium. Wait. That one is finished. Uh, I did just take it out beforehand. It's so quiet in here now. Oh, it's peaceful. I like it. Uh, we don't need the magnetite, not yet at least. Let's put this over here. But we do need the vandium. We need some steel dust as well, but we can... I think we can order steel dust, right? Did I set up a recipe for that? Steel dust. Uh, probably. Steel? Why do I not have steel dust? Okay, what's a good way of making it? Steel bees. Makes sense. I thought I made like a bunch of this. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, that looks like a recipe that we could do. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Chromium. I think this is the way we're going to do it. We've got a load of chromite. And that's going to get us iron and chromium, and a bit of oxygen as well, so not bad. So, how do we get chromite? Just smelt end chromite? Ah, okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's go set up chromite as well. I actually don't have too much of this. I can't be asked to set up all of the macerators and stuff for it, so they are just going to go down here. Basically, this centrifuge was a really good idea to make. Why do you not like that? Did I do something wrong? Electrolyzer. Never mind. It's still a really good idea. Bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
that what this is? Yeah, we're going to put it through here. Once we've got one. And... Yeah, there we go. There's the chromium. Oh, it doesn't show up in here. Chromium. There it is. And we need to make some steel as well. I vaguely remember we had something to make steel. Is it... Is it this thing? That was to make steel. Yeah, you were able to use the blasting recipe. Have they removed that? Because it seems like it doesn't work. Or did I just not put it back in? Or is it just an AE thing that I did? Steel. Okay, I can do it by this. Let's do... Start 600. That should just bring in a bunch of them. And then what I can do from this is... Can I... Can I just... Crushing wheel it? Crushing spirit. I could use the crushing spirit, but... I don't really fancy doing that. Fine, ore hammer. We'll use a, a, just a regular old ore hammer. Uh, let's use this one. Oh, can you not do that? Can you not crush stuff with your hammer? Uh, okay. Uh, we can use the pestle and mortar. I think I made one of those. 64. There you go. I have no idea what ratios I'm supposed to have these in. But anyway, we've got the... Oh, you're kidding me. Am I going to have to make a higher tier mixer for this? Quite possibly, Vandium Steel is what we're after. Uh, which is the dust, which we get. MV. Okay, we'll, we'll just make one of these. Bronze Rotor. Fine, let's make that now. Okay, this is taking a while because I keep running out. I keep running out of glass thingies, whatever they're called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fluid solidifier and it's going to be dedicated to making the, the ball thing, the glass thingy my bob. Because I think I've got, okay, there we go. There we go, solidifier. I can stick that right there. I might move this. Don't think I use this often enough. Okay, stick that there. I also need an LV. Right, here we go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a recipe for this. And I didn't really need an extended pattern provider for that because it's purely to make that, make the, the ball things, what are they called? Tubes. So now I shouldn't have any issue making anything. I will just say, uh, I've had a really long day today and I've got a really long day coming up. Uh, so I'm going to have to end the episode here. I feel like we got a decent amount done. Unfortunately, most of it was uh, between episodes. But next episode, we're going to crack on with a bit more Greg. I do want to get the cutter, or whatever it's called. Advanced cutter. I feel like we're really close on this. We just need to make the advanced mixer, and then we can make the Vandium steel buzzsaw, put that together, get the advanced cutter, and then we can use this for like a bunch of stuff. So. Yeah, uh, those um, those buzz saws weren't actually in until recently. So thank you for adding the recipe for that. Absolutely awesome. Right. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.